If you apply all these steps I'm about to show you until the end of this video, I can guarantee, guys, it will definitely turn your PC into a new one. So let's set the boring stuff aside and move towards the first step. To reach out startup programs, open your Windows search bar and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Next, go to Startup and do a single click on the status area. This will bring up a list of all the programs that automatically launch whenever you turn on your PC. Now, select the programs you don't need to run at startup, one by one, and disable them. Just make sure you don't disable any system programs during this process. Let's move on to the next step. I know Windows updates are crucial, but if they are running all the time in the background, they can slow down your PC's performance. Now, don't get me wrong, I'll clear up any doubts you might have. Just open your search bar and type in Services. Click on it. Select any service randomly and press W on your keyboard. This will take you to all the services starting with the letter W. Now, find Windows updates and double-click it. A menu will pop up like this. Change the startup type to Disabled. Make sure you stop the service status if it's running. Finally, save the changes. Then, open the service right below Windows Updates and stop it too. No need to change the startup type here. You can restart these services once a month, but I wouldn't recommend it, and I'll share why in the last step. To clean up temporary files, open My Computer now. Right-click on the disk with the Windows icon and then on Properties. It will take you to the Disk Properties panel. Here, click on Disk Cleanup, and a new menu will pop up like this. Here, select all the files, one by one. Just make sure your recycle bin doesn't have any important files, or you can deselect it. Finally, click on OK, and then hit Delete Files. This will remove all the unnecessary files from your system disk. Open your Windows search bar and type in Control Panel. Click on it. Then click on Uninstall a Program and a window will open up like this. Now, select the programs you don't need and uninstall them. You might find a lot of programs here, so you'll need to uninstall them one by one. Just make sure you don't uninstall any system programs. This will free up your system from all those unwanted programs that were installed accidentally. Now, here's a problem with some users. When they install any program, they just follow the traditional way, next, next, and install, without even thinking about where the program is going to be installed. By default, every program installs on the system disk. If you don't change its location, the space on your system disk decreases, and as a result, your PC starts lagging. The same goes for Windows updates. All the updates go straight into the system disk by default, and that's exactly why I said to leave the Windows Update service disabled. Now, listen up guys. If you apply all these settings and still find your PC lagging, then the last fix is to reinstall Windows. Or, try this with it. 